29 riders there it was here we are outside by our buses again we are on Easter Sunday what a great day the most important day of all the Sundays of the year is Easter Sunday it's the day when Jesus rose up from the grave rose from the dead proving that he is God proving that he was not just another man proving that his death on the cross was sufficient to pay the price for your sin and for mine. The empty tomb is what Easter is all about. And we're glad that you're gonna be able to see a little bit of uh, some songs and some stories about Easter, but in big news, I mean, this is, this is headline news for bus 129 riders. Somebody passed through Fairhaven recently, and they have something they want to tell you. This person was on bus 129 for not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen years on bus 129. This person was. They sang songs every Sunday. They told the verse. They played games during the week. This person prayed for you guys. On Saturday, this person visited you, and they are back here now, and in just a couple minutes, you are gonna see the famous celebrity of Bus 129 who came back here for Easter Sunday to say hello to you all. This is a special of all special Easter Sundays Enjoy today's program. We're praying for you guys and can't wait till we see you back on 0129 again soon. Are we gonna go race? Hey kids, we have a really special visitor here to see you right now. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Hi Woo! everyone. Good to see you. Miss you so much. Now sing along with us as we go into some of our favorite bus songs. Alive, alive, alive forevermore, my Jesus is alive. Song. Which song should we sing? Should we do slow song, fast song? I think 
think we should sing Mr. Noah. Okay. Okay, so we I have to get ready should. to build. Okay, ready? Mr. Noah built an ark, but the people thought it was a lark. Mr. Noah pleaded so, but the people would not go. So down came the rain in torrents. Down came the rain in torrents. Down came the rain in torrents, but only eight were saved. The animals came on two by two, the giraffe, the bear, and the kangaroo. Mr. Noah pleaded so, but the people would not go. So down came the rain in torrents. Down came the rain in torrents. Down came the rain and torrents, but only eight were saved. Like Noah, you should get on board. Trust Jesus as your Savior, Lord. He will wash away your sin, and heaven you can win. So you can go to heaven. You can go to heaven. You can go to heaven. If you will trust the Lord. Hi everyone. Hello to all the riders of bus 129. We miss you guys so much that we came all the way from our home to ride the bus with you on Easter, but we're not riding the bus. So instead we have this special video just for you guys. So I hope you'll watch the whole thing. So I think most of you remember just a couple months back, I got married and this ta -da, is my husband, Andrew. So he's come along so that he can tell us some interesting things about a certain country. But before you guys guess, I want you to listen to him and look at the way he's dressed and see if you can figure out which country we're talking about. Hello, how are you? My name is Andrew Canavan, and I'm from the country of, you may have eaten me favorite cereal, and it starts with Lucky, and I tell you, I'm the luckiest man in the whole world because I got to marry Miss Mayville. Can you guess where I'm from? Okay, so you have to say the answer out loud. Ready? Five seconds to do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Did you guess it? The answer is Ireland. Ireland. So Mr. Yes. Andrew grew up in the country of Ireland. So maybe you have some questions about Ireland. So I'm going to ask him and he'll give us the answer, okay? So question number one is, what is a missionary? Because that's what we are. So you might wonder, what is a missionary? So, Mr. Andrew? So a missionary's number one most important job is a missionary tells people about Jesus Christ. But more specifically than that, he tells them how to be saved. A missionary goes to to somewhere where the gospel or how to be saved has never been told. That could be across the street or it could be across the ocean like we're going to, to Ireland. Okay, so another question you might have is what is Ireland like? Maybe you've seen pictures, but you've never been there. So what is Ireland like? So Ireland is where I call home. Ireland is very green. So if you go there, it never gets browned. It's a bit rainy, it's always cloudy. And for us, a hot day would be about 65 or 70 degrees. But in Ireland, the people are very friendly. So in Ireland, they're usually just a bit quieter than Americans until you get them on the sports field, on our football field, and then they turn into maniacs. So we would play some different sports. In Ireland, of course, we don't play American football. We're much too tough for that. We don't wear pads, we play rugby. And then we have some Gaelic sports. We have Gaelic football, which would be like a mix of volleyball and basketball and soccer in the same sport. And then we have hurling, which is like field hockey, except for you have to wear masks because it gets so violent. So that's a few of our sports. And that's what Ireland's like, and we have lots and lots and lots of sheep. And one other thing about Ireland is our slogan. So America has a slogan, and it is, In God We Trust, which I love that slogan. In Ireland, we speak two languages. We really only speak one language, English, with a bit of an accent. But we also speak Irish, and we have to learn Irish. And our, our motto is, Keed Mil Foucher, which means 100,000 welcome. 
So the Irish people are known for being very friendly. Okay, so next question, what would be some of the foods people eat in Ireland? So my personal favorite is fish and chips. That I love, put a bit of vinegar, a bit of salt on that, it's lovely, that's my favorite. And so, of course, we're an island, so we eat loads of fish, we eat lots of sheep, we have tons of sheep, and so we also eat loads of potatoes. Mm -hmm. In our church in Ireland, we have a lady who eats potatoes for breakfast, she eats potatoes for lunch, and she eats potatoes for dinner. The Irish have to have their potatoes, so we love potatoes, fish and chips, and sheep, we love food. Okay, so this is a fun one because all of you guys remember, remember coming to Zoo Day, which is when we take you to the zoo and we have so much fun and lots of good food. So this question is, what kind of animals are in Ireland? Well, as I've mentioned, anywhere you go in Ireland outside of the cities, there's loads and loads of sheep. And so we have loads of sheep. We also, we have, uh, we have deer and we have things like that. But we also have birds. So Ireland's way far in the, up north in the Atlantic Ocean. So we have birds from South America that fly all the way to Ireland. You maybe could look them up. Maybe your parents could show you. One of them is called the gannet. It's a big, huge seabird that comes up. And the other one is called the puffin with a, with a really pretty beak. And so those would be a couple of the animals we have in Ireland. And also we don't have some other animals. So in Ireland, we have no snakes. The legend says <laughs> Patrick took him off, but in, in reality, it's just too cold for snakes. But uh, we have no snakes and no wolves. So those are, we have lots of animals, and thank goodness we don't have some other animals. <laughs> okay, and then I think this is the last question. What will Andrew and I do once we are in Ireland? Now, as I said, because we're missionaries, and really, we, in a sense, we all should be missionaries telling people the most and most wonderful news. But one of the things that our most important job is to tell other people about Jesus Christ. But wait a minute. In Ireland, they're Catholic. They've already heard about Jesus. So why does Mr. Andrew need to take Miss, Miss Canavan, Mrs. Canavan now, all the way to Ireland? That doesn't make sense. Well, here's the really important reason. Because if you ask most people in Ireland, how do I go to heaven? They're going to say, well, I try to be a good person. I try to good life, live a good life. And they've never been saved. So in Ireland, we're telling them about how to be saved. And also, we're going to try to start churches just like Fairhaven. And where we study God's word, we, and we worship the Lord, and we want to please him. And then we can bring others to church to learn about Jesus Christ. And one thing I'm super excited about, today is Easter Sunday. And I love Easter Sunday because in Ireland, if you go to Ireland, especially because they're Catholic, everywhere you go, there's crosses. And those crosses show Jesus hanging on the cross. Now, it's important to remember that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. But you know, we as Christians, as true Bible Christians, we don't just celebrate Jesus dying on the cross. We celebrate that he rose again. And one thing, I love that. Now, I have just a simple illustration here, really quick. This is a receipt. This is the receipt from our lunch. We went to Subway, and we had the delicious, um, my favorite is the Italian BMT. Anyways, <laughs> imagine if I went to Subway, I was walking out the door, and the manager said, yelled after me and said, come back here, you didn't pay. And I was sure that I paid. You know what they would want? I would reach in my bag and I would pull out a receipt. And I could say, look manager, I paid for my lunch. Paid for our lunch. In the very same way, why is it so important that Jesus rose from the, from the dead? The resurrection is like the receipt. Can you explain that just a little bit more? Do you remember Romans 6.23? The Bible says the wages of sin is death. Jesus died on the cross not for his own sin. He died for our sin. Well, how do we know the price was paid? Because Jesus rose again. Jesus could only rise from the dead for our sin if he actually paid the price. So the resurrection Sunday, what we're celebrating today 
is that the price has been paid. And because Jesus died on the cross for our sins and rose again, we can be super duper sure that we're going to heaven. That's what I love about Easter Sunday. And I, I'm, we're excited about going back to Ireland and telling people not just that Jesus died on the cross, but how they can be saved. Well, thanks for letting us join you guys. We love you and we miss you so much. And as soon as those buses start running again, be sure to jump on and head back to church. See you later. Bye. So